It doesn't commemorate an important event or mark a historic battlefield. Mount Rushmore was built for one reason, to draw tourists. And so in a sense, this is like the world's biggest roadside attraction? Yeah, that's exactly right. They'll stop here, then next stop is, I want to go see the biggest ball of twine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this was the vision of Doan Robinson, South Dakota's state historian. He saw that with the rise of the automobile, a new kind of tourism was taking off. The road trip was becoming an American pastime, but Robinson knew it would take something monumental to get tourists to drive all the way to South Dakota. People come and they'll find something spectacular beyond the scenery. They'll come and spend more time, spend more money. Flipping through the newspaper, Robinson found his answer. On Stone Mountain outside Atlanta, an artist named Gutson Borglum was carving a massive memorial to heroes of the Confederacy. The Confederate memorial seemed to be Borglum's ticket to fame. Borglum jumped at a chance to do something even bigger in South Dakota. The call came from Don Robinson, and Borglum gets excited and says, yes, I want to do this. Don Robinson took Borglum to see these granite needles. Don Robinson's idea was to carve images into the needles, right. but not presidents necessarily. No, he saw Western heroes, George Custer, Buffalo Bill Cody. But Borglum envisioned a monument to America itself, featuring presidents who represented the foundation, preservation, and expansion of the United States. So why Teddy Roosevelt? Borglum just liked him. Borglum liked him because he saw this robust kindred spirit of the West. Though Borglum did consider putting the presidents on those spires, he eventually settled on nearby Mount Rushmore, a 500-foot sheet of fine-grained granite. But where Borglum saw a perfect canvas, Native Americans saw hallowed ground. People say that it's being desecrated by carving white leaders on a mountain because all of Black Hills is considered sacred land. Despite objections, workers began blasting out the six-story tall sculpture. Dynamite proved a remarkably precise carving tool, getting to within three inches of the final forms. Jackhammers finished the job. Originally, Jefferson was supposed to be to the left of Washington. But after starting work, crews found there wasn't enough solid stone there. Borglum just blasts the Jefferson head off, about $10,000 down the rock pile. And so then they start Jefferson on the other side. The shift pushed Lincoln to the right of Roosevelt. On rock where Borglum had wanted to etch a short history of the nation. Borglum also had to ditch his idea for a hall of records, holding documents from American history. The only evidence of it today is a hidden room behind Lincoln's head. And then there was Borglum's most painful concession yet. It looks like Borglum originally intended to carve them all the way down to the waist? Yes, just as this model shows. But by the time the 1941 rolled around, you know, just the heads were exposed and some of the collars, and they were out of money and out of time. On his way to lobby Congress for more money, Borglum died suddenly. And his son declared the unfinished monument complete. The 400,000 visitors who descended on Mount Rushmore that first year were none the wiser, though not everyone was satisfied. Is Crazy Horse in some way a response to Mount Rushmore? I think so. Already 70 years in the making, the memorial to the Native American leader Crazy Horse will soar 500 feet taller than the heads on nearby Mount Rushmore. Some of the leaders got together they wanted an Indian person honored to balance out honoring of the white man here. Why not honor the American Indian too? Crazy Horse and Mount Rushmore may put different faces on American history, yet both fulfill Doan Robinson's dream. South Dakota is home to not one, but two monumental works of art that are places of pilgrimage for American tourists. Why do you think three million people a year come here? Well, it's iconic. Uh, they've got to see it as they tour America. They must stop here. On the other hand, hopefully when they're here, they get that other meaning out of it that is about the ideals of America. 
American democracy, the good things that we have been as a republic.